there's going to be an arm drag controlling distance, and I'm going to end up on the far side over here looking for an arm bar on the arm that I drag. If he gets this arm out, though, I can still attack this arm. So, off that arm drag, I'm going to start to drag, but I'm just going to suck in close to him, and I'm going to reach and drag. So there's no space. I actually do want to go to Eric's back, but he gets his head up, and he blocks my path. So my general rule of thumb is head down, I go to his back, okay? So if I get an arm drag and I get his head down, I'm going to his back, guys. We're done. But if I get an arm drag and he immediately pops his head up, I'm still trying to go to his back. Now, I can't leave any space here he gets his arm back. But because his head is as high as mine or higher, I'm going to start to go under. So I'm going to grab the far side, foot on the hip, and I'm going to drag him to me. So we're here. Now, I need to create an angle to finish. I want this arm. So I got to get my head over here. My left foot on his hip is going to push. My right foot's going to bite, and I'm going to push his head and keep it down. Swing over, tap. He gets this arm somehow out, or even if he was starting to, I could go here, I could go here, okay? But the idea is this, guys. As I arm drag him, I want his back, but he blocks me, okay? So now, foot comes out to here, boom, because he blocked me. I don't want to leave this in here, because I know I'm going over there now. An alternative to this, Don, another move I could do is just reach under. If this leg gets stuck, guys, now I turn it to a sweep. But if I get this leg here, I'm not letting him posture, try to posture. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.